Hey guys, so as you can probably tell from the video title, we lost a turkey last night and it was no bueno. Um, so we had six, now we have five. And the reason, or the way I found out that we lost a turkey was a buddy of mine called. Um, I was talking to him while I was in the office and I looked out the office window back behind the house over there and I saw a red fox running from behind the house along the corner here and I was like, oh no, it's going to go over and get some of the chickens or something. So sent Joshua out there quick uh, while I finished up the phone call. He said he couldn't find it, but that there was a dead turkey out here. And the dead turkey's over there. I'm not going to show you guys. You don't need to see a dead animal. Um, so we're down to five turkeys. Um, so that is no bueno, like I said. So I was trying to figure out the turkeys don't do so well at staying cooped up. They So last year... Our turkeys roosted right over there on top of the blue coop. I'm trying to see, yeah, right there. So like right along here, they would stand on top of the coop and the ridge right there. And it worked out well because then they were inside of another fence. But these turkeys don't do that. These turkeys are laying on this post here and then this other wood post that goes over there. So a raccoon or a fox or whatever can just kind of jump up and grab them pull them down and like most poultry um, they don't have good night vision so there's joshua um so what i've decided to do is take my hog netting and run it from the fence over there around to the other side where the blue coop is so that the door to the chicken coop and this will stay at least electrified on one side. Um, it won't be electrified on the other side. So if something were to go climb through the fence, like I've seen skunks do, and then come in from that side, I'm out of luck. Um, but with the goats and hope in there, I don't want to mess around with having to put another fence in there and have them run it over and whatever. So we're going to try this. Hopefully this works, but... That's what we're going with so far. So it's kind of a pain. And like I said, I'm going to pull down probably these three fence posts, one, two, and three, and lay them down so that the birds can get in and out easily and get to the feed and water and stuff in there. And then at night, when everything roosts and gets in there, then we'll just put those three posts in, turn on the solar charger that we've got right there, our um, Parmac uh, Solar Pack 6, which we really like. And we'll flip that on and hopefully that does the job and it gets us through the next almost two months, month and a half until uh, it's time to butcher the turkeys. So that's the plan. If you guys have any other ideas, let me know because I'm all ears. I want to make sure we protect things. The chickens will be fine because we just closed that door so nothing can get in there. Um, Jacob may have had the window open. Uh, yeah, it looks like the window's open. So I'll tell him to make sure that that window stays closed so that nothing can climb through the window. But hopefully this gives it just enough protection to the turkeys that we don't lose any more. It would really stink to lose them at this point because they're good-sized turkeys, you know? They're... I could butcher them now. They wouldn't be, you know, super small turkeys. They'd be probably 12 to 16-pound turkeys, maybe more. So that's the plan. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already... Click on the uh, subscribe button, thumbs up, leave a comment, say hi to Lucy. Um, follow us over on Instagram and Facebook. There's a Homestead Dad Facebook group. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you and your family as he has so richly blessed ours. And I will see you guys in the next video.